Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm a criminal defense attorney. I'm located in Ithaca, New York. And today I'd like to talk to you about the first part of any DWI investigation. Any case that I'm going to defend, the first thing that I want to do is go out to the scene, the scene where the arrest took place, where the stop of the car took place, or where the accident took place. The crucial elements for examining the scene are we need to have a real context for where the con contact with the police first occurred. I'm a movie lover, and there's a great movie called Ronin, R-O-N-I-N, with Robert De Niro. And Robert De Niro is planning a crime in this busy city in Europe. And they're looking over a map. And Robert De Niro turns and tells his accomplices, his people that he's going to, his partners in crime, and he says this line, and it's so great, he says, the map is not the territory. And what Robert De Niro wants to do with them is he wants to do a run-through of the crime. He wants to actually walk the scene of the crime, look at the streets, look how busy it's going to be at the time they're going to commit it, and he wants to breathe in the scene to see the lighting to see the people, to see the cars, to see the traffic and everything else. And with any DWI case, my first defense is to go out and walk the scene to see the ground. Was it level? Was it gravel? Was it asphalt? I want to see what the lighting was in that area. Were there overhead lights? Was it a country road? Was there no lights? What was the slope of the road? What was the gradient on the road? Were there any potholes on the road? When the car pulled over, or where it was pulled over, where was the police car positioned in, re in relationship to your car? All of these things are going to now create my context for when and if they gave any testing. If they gave the testing, was it done fairly? Did they follow the procedures? Did they bring you to a flat level surface? Did you do the procedures with your shoes on, with your shoes off, what type of shoes were you wearing, what type of lighting was there when they had you follow their pen light or their finger or anything else. All these things are going to count in the long run. So if you have any questions about your DWI case, you can give me a call, 607-229-5184, or go to my main website and blog. It's www.ithacadwi.com. But make sure whoever that you hire, you go out with them and you check out the scene of where your arrest took place. Thank you.